We finally have an effective method where you can run the Dark Aether as a squad and still keep all your items. It's a little variation, but it's a huge step in the right direction for Modern Warfare Zombies Season 2 Reloaded. This method will allow you to take any items that you want into the Dark Aether with your whole squad, that's the kicker, and never run out of those items. You can just keep using those items over and over again. And I'll show you another way that allow you to actually keep your essence at the same time if you want to. Check it out. But first, a quick word from our sponsor. If you don't have the time to unlock everything and need assistance in your favorite games like Call of Duty, Fortnite, Grand Theft Auto V, and more, then our sponsor, Damn Mods, is the place for you. They offer all camo unlocks, zombie schematics, bot lobbies, and more. Damn Mods has a five-star rating with thousands of reviews. Use the link below in the description and be sure to use code 1AD for 5% off your order. The first thing you're gonna do is just bring in all the items that you want to actually use in the Dark Aether. You can do this by crafting, you can do this by pulling from a previous tombstone, picking them up in game, it doesn't matter, but bring in the items. So for me, you need a sigil or an elder sigil for sure. Make sure you have that first. I'm gonna leave one space here and I'll explain why later. Then I'm bringing in dog bones, scorcher, ether blade case, flaws ethereum crystal, tombstone so I can keep resetting it, but you don't necessarily need that. And then let me move my camera. And then we have a legendary ether tool and a refined ethereum crystal. This is just a demonstration. You don't need any of this stuff. The only thing you absolutely need is a sigil and or elder sigil. And I'm also gonna teach you how to dupe that as well so you don't run out of that. Again, this is all assuming you're starting from scratch. So we're gonna go set up our tombstone. If you already have a tombstone set with everything you want, including a sigil, you're good to go. You can skip this step or just bring in a sigil and all these items and go to your tombstone. So let's get into the match. Now gather up 3000 essence by doing contracts, etc., so you can both buy your tombstone soda or find it. And of course, use the portal. All right, so you're gonna go up, or you, up arrow. And backwards Q. Now, if you need to understand this method better, you can check out this video up here, which explains the whole tombstone method using the portal in much more detail. But I've gone over that quite a few times, so just check out those other videos first, and that'll help you. So you're going to run all the way back to the Act 4 portal once you've activated the U up in backwards Q. And then you're going to sprint straight back. I throw a decoy here just to uh, get some of the zombies off me, but that's not necessary. Just no weapon, sprint straight through the middle here. No shenanigans, keep it simple. And this one is gonna take me over to B7, which is my favorite place to do this. That's at the very southwest corner of the map. You're gonna turn to your right and full sprint. And then around two seconds vote, yes. The important thing is when this timer goes down to six, you wanna enter out of bounds. Six, now out of bounds. If I hit that six second out of bounds, every single time it works for me. This is just to set up your initial tombstone. You see the portal, then you get the elimination screen, then black screen and quit. Okay, that has set your tombstone properly. The next step is to take all those same items that also duplicated and now bring those back into the match now with your buddy. So you have a tombstone and all your items, your buddy has a tombstone and has duplicated all those items. Now you're going back into the match together. You can do this with a duo or a trio. Both work the same. I mean, technically you could do this method solo as well. Now you're back in the match. You can use all of these items because they're now duplicated. So fully kit yourself out. I love a good Packer Punch 3 Scorcher, whatever weapon. Highly recommend the new flamethrower attachment. You can check out this video up here. Literally the best weapon in the game. No joke. Now with your whole team, head back over to the tombstone so you can replenish all those items that you just used. Okay, so here's the sweet thing is because we already set our tombstones, we already used all these items. You can see when I open this up, we're gonna have everything that we need ready to go. Now we're actually gonna have one extra item because we do two sigils. That way you never actually run out of sigils so you can keep running over and over again. This would obviously work the same with an elder sigil oh as God, it would. Oh God, it's one average den. It's one average den. Hello. <laughs> How are you? That's hilarious. Well, I'm part of your Discord. I just find that very cool that you're oh, actually sweet. here. Oh, sweet. Well, I'm glad you're this part of Dan? it. This is Dan? Yes. Hello, what? good sir. This is crazy. <laughs> you guys both in my Discord? No way. Well, hell yeah. Yeah. That's how we met. Why do you think we're here? Aww. Yeah, that's how we met. 
It's a little love story. Y'all make my heart happy. Yes, sir. All right, so now keep in mind, you are already fully equipped with literally everything you need. And, like, if I was really paying attention, I would probably do mags of holding. I would do golden armor. But whatever it is that you desire to have, if you want a VR-11, any of that stuff, that's up to you. But now, since you have all that stuff, you're now going to go into the sigil here. Now, the reason I have two sigils is because I will use one, and then another sigil will get put back in my tombstone when we redo it. You could just bring one, and that's fine, but then you just run out of it. I'm trying to put the sigil in, but there's a... <laughs> oh, there we go. Got it. So now, no tricks, no scorcher, nothing crazy. Just vote yes here. Then this portal's going to get all happy and crazy. Fancy portal. Now remember, you're not quitting. No funny business here. Okay, so now that you started, you'll have all your items still, have Scorcher, weapons, all that stuff. You can now run the Sigil, or if it's the Elder Sigil, you could go get your schematics, etc. And then head for the Exfil. So we'll head for this one on the uh, G3 up here. Yeah. Let's head that direction. Couple boosts should get you there. There it is. But again, you could run as many things as you want. And this also counts as a, su a successful exfil. So if you're doing camos or trying to get schematics out, this would also work just the same. Okay, so the other thing you can do here, if you really are concerned about keeping your essence, let's say you have a lot and you don't want to get rid of it, everyone give your essence to the very last guy out. He's going to stay and reset that tombstone with the tombstone that he drank. So I'm going to exfil now. Keep all these items, which then I can then reset my tombstone the next round. The very last person will just die out and set an old school traditional tombstone. So there's my successful exfil. It's going to go through all this process. Now, theoretically, I should be able to leave and he should be able to die right now and it should be fine. But I recommend just letting it play out. Now, I really wouldn't worry about keeping your essence and having your buddies stay back and die and all that stuff. It's really not necessary to have essence because you're continuously taking all your items and reusing them every single time using this method. So I would just take your two or your three people, have everyone exfil. You can take schematics or anything else out and then do this the next match. This also works too if he has schematics with him instead of exfil with those, he could put them in his tombstone and then he can share those with the rest of us through tombstone duplication. This is what, one of the things that we do in our Discord, so make sure you join that down below if you haven't already or if you're just looking for a good squad for zombies. Now head right back into the match with those same items that you just exfilled with to now reset your tombstone. See, so now my buddy's just picked up his tombstone from the graveyard, has 7,000 essence. Normally, let's say at 400,000 or whatever, he would have that much more. And then he can share that with you all as we reset our tombstones here. And then start another match. And you can go run another one. You can use it for the regular world. You can use it for the dark ether. Really, you could use it for anything. It works great. Um, so it's a way of never losing any of your items. And successfully exfilling without having to worry about all the crazy methods of getting the tombstone just right when you're going into the dark ether and... And the rest of that stuff. And most importantly, you can do it as a squad. And just like that, you have a complete guide of how to run the Dark Aether in a squad as many times as you want. Again, if you want to keep your essence, you have the last person to have all the essence and die, set up a normal tombstone. If you don't care about essence like me, then just all two or three operators can just leave through like normal. You don't have to worry about it. Keep this stuff in your bag. Next time, reset the tombstone. And then you can just keep repeating that cycle. You could do this infinite times. I can go run the Dark Aether... Ten times. All you do, run the dark ether, come out, reset tombstone. Bring all your items in, run the dark ether, come out, reset tombstone. That's it. Hey, like and subscribe if this video helped you. And as always, for the newest Modern Warfare Zombies and Warzone content, I'll see you live on YouTube.